What up, Whiskey Ginger fans? Welcome back to the show. Man, we got a good one for you today, like my man Steve Harvey done say. It's the kid from the Bay area. It's Blake Anderson. This dude is so funny. You know him from Workaholics, amongst his many other projects. He is a brilliant mind, a very cool dude. I'm happy to have him on the show. And I got to tell you, man, we're coming down to the wire. More and more days chip away, and we're coming up to the end of the year. And I'm doing one final show this year. New Year's Eve and New Year's Eve Eve in Boston, Massachusetts. Boston, Mass. Come out and see your boy. 30th and the 31st. The tickets are available right now. I think we're adding shows. Go to andrewsantino.com. Uh, if you don't have plans yet, sign up, baby. I'm doing meet and greets, VIPs, all sorts of fun stuff. Boston and the Boston area. Massachusetts. Come out and see your boy. New Year's Eve and New Year's Eve Eve. andrewsantino.com. andrewsantino.com. Enough rambling from me. Let's go to the episode. In here... We pour whiskey, 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 whiskey. You were that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Whiskey Ginger. My guest today is one of my favorite people on earth. I say that for all my guests, but I mean it once again today. It's the first time... Uh, this gentleman's been on the show, and he is the third of the trio from his clique of Workaholics boys to be on. He's last, but I saved the best for laugh. It's Blake Anderson. Thanks for coming on, bro. Thank you for having me. This is incredible. Thank you, man. I wore this hat for you. I And I told you it was very welcoming, very warm. Anytime Heavy I see it. shout out to the Bay yeah. and uh, my affiliation with the A's. Good group of people up there. They showed me how they flipped a baseball stadium into a football stadium and back. And I said, why do you still do it? And apparently, your beautiful owner, well, no longer, yeah. but I mean, his his son now, had Al Davis, the D, the, the D, he had said, it cost him a million a flip. And he said, I flip it only six to eight times a year. So it's only, it's the six to eight million versus 250 million. So you tell me what you think I'm going to do. Hey, fuck it. <laughs> he was right. He was right, dude. The guy think, was right. <laughs> that's kind of the, the Oakland sports motto. Fuck it. Fuck it. We're dude. not spending shit. Yeah, fuck it. Although, the Warriors, that new stadium is bonkers. San Francisco. It's not Oakland. I know. Is it, but you guys are but you guys are the Oakland Warriors? Golden State. Yeah, but it's Oakland. I mean, they were. Yeah. It, it Like a lot of the magic for me left when they moved to San Francisco, but Damn. whatever. We're still rolling. Are you supporting them still or no? Yes, yes. Like, you're still a fan, but you're a little annoyed. It's just, Oakland is such, like, a special place. I just like what it stands for so much more than San Francisco. I mean, yeah. San Francisco is a beautiful city, but there's just something about, like, the I love underdogs, man. I yeah, love Oakland them. is, like, the consummate underdog. Oh, yeah. That's why That's why the city and the town, for people that don't know what that is, uh, yeah. explain, explain city and town. The town is Oakland and the city is San Francisco, and they and it's like an affectionate name though. It's like not it's it's not like talking shit, not like no. saying you're just a little town and we're the big city. Yeah, it's just saying it's more of like a town business, man. Town business, dog. Yep. No city business mm-hmm. going on here. Mm-hmm. It's town business. But really, what's going on in San Francisco other than poop in the streets? Uh, a lot of tech, I think. Tech and tech. poop. Yeah, techy poop. Poop tech. Yeah. Poop Our new tech. company, by the way, we're putting out together is Poop Tech. Absolutely. It's going to launch, I think, in May of 2023. So As an app first, and then we'll see where it goes. But we're having trouble with the mobile platform for some yeah. reason. But go to pooptech.com uh, to check out the new app. Uh, it's going to be fully integrated. You'll be able to find all of the uh, poop all over San Francisco. Yeah. We have like a it's like a poop map, kind of how yeah. weed maps, but it's for poop. It's a pinpoint system, and as you pick them up along the way, you like get points on your like sort of, you know, your profile. Your profile, and, right? And every time you pick up a piece of shit, a, a toilet flush will sound on your phone because it yeah. knows kind of how those Amazon stores where you can just walk out with the with the product and yeah. not have to pay. And all money goes to uh, the Oakland Athletics. So That's exactly to, right. <laughs> yeah, to keep them in Oakland. <laughs> yeah. We're funding the A's is really yes. what we're doing. Um, so I'm not having any sauce tonight. I You're heard more that. Than welcome to have some sauce. I have yeah. to go to a doctor's appointment first thing in the morning, so my blood has to be okay. clean. Here's, cheers to, to you. here's to your health. Here, to your health. Cheer, up in the air, cheers to your health, because yeah. I can't clink. It's not, there's no booze in here. Yeah. And I'm that, Irish. Yeah. Oh, shit. Which one are you? What? Which white are you? Uh, I am Irish on my father's side. And on your mother's side? Uh, I was always told I was like Czechoslovakian, oh, I but, see that. but my dad was like, eh, you're Polish. Oh, That's like wow. a diss. Oh, burn. Because remember like back in the day, like that was like 
Polish people are dumb. That was like a joke. Yeah, that was like, like a uh, good, like a strong bit. Oh yeah, dude, that that would crush. Yeah, back of the water cooler. Yeah, how many Polish guys yeah, did dumb, take to screw in a light bulb? Pol- <laughs> <laughs> they don't even know what lights are. You know, exactly. Cr- destroy at the water cooler. Yeah, yeah, man, we gotta get those Polish jokes back, dude. Yeah, dude, bring back that Polish racism <laughs> back, man. Why did that ever leave us, man? It, we used to have a lot more good racist jokes to the different types of white people. Now it just got washed out. Well, whites are kind of in a, you know, we're in a weird place right now. Yeah. You know? We'll yeah. be back, dude. I have no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's panic mode for a lot of people, but I'm like, we're on our let's way just back, ride dude. the wave, man. Ride the wave, dude. You gotta and take your out. licks, dude. Yeah, just man. Take, get, get a couple, take a couple bullets to the chest, yeah, you know? Man. Come back from it. It's cool. It's, 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 we're gonna be fine. Guys, <laughs> we're gonna be fine. Okay, so. Polish people, I'm talking to you. Yeah. We're coming back, bro. Right, no, no, no. I refuse that Polish people listen to the show. One guy in Poland is just like, oh, man. What the fuck? Come on. Oh, yeah, I don't know their language. Yeah, what do they speak? Um, idiot. <laughs> what are you speaking? <laughs> freaking idiot. Bozo. <laughs> freaking bozo? Probably. You speak doofus? bozo out there? Doof. You speak uh, dumb, dumb head out there in Poland town? Freaking boneheads. I'm going to lose all my Polish fans. <laughs> nah, man. I'm bringing them back. Bring them back. <laughs> um, so listen, I want to say so many things to you because yeah. I have So what's crazy is you and I met many, 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 many years ago. Really uh, Divine and I knew each other from stand-up. And I'll genuinely never forget this. I forget a lot because of the of booze, but yeah, CTE. I'll never, yeah, the CTE from from alcohol. <laughs> yeah, genuinely, it's re- I it's think it's real. real. I think it's real. I met you at the Hollywood Improv, and Divine used to work there. Adam mm-hmm. Divine, who was uh, who was like probably fifth or sixth on the call sheet for workaholics. Yeah, right? he's pretty far down. Yeah, there. he's down the list. Yeah, uh, below the line guy. And <laughs> totally. uh, so what happened was, I, Adam was so excited about that show, and I'm not going to harp on the show because it's in the past, but. The memory of meeting you it was etched in my mind because we were at the bar and Eddie was bartending and I was Oof. having a drink and Adam goes, Love Eddie. he goes, hey, I want you to meet somebody. And I turned around, I was like, what's up, man? And I saw this big, beautiful, gorgeous head of hair that's so much lettuce just dripping off your head, yeah, you know? Buddy. Yeah, buddy. And I was like, who is this dude? And I was like, hey, man, are you a comic? <laughs> and you were a little quiet about it. Mm-hmm. You were like, oh, yeah. And then Adam cut you off and was like, He's actually a genius comedian, writer, and performer. Like, he was like boosting. Well, he was boosting he you hard. Me up, he gassed me I, up. It was awesome. That's and my I was boy like, right there. I was like, no shit. And and I said, do you do stand up? And you go, well, you know, no, I mean, not. That's not really my thing. And he goes, just wait till you see the show that we got coming out. Yeah. And I was like, well, God, good luck. You know, God bless. I was, I always loved Adam, and we've known each other for so long that I was like, I hope that show hits. But I remember saying to you, I was like, good luck, man. I hope that you know. Yeah, and it was not—it's not demeaning, but I meant it, man. I hope it goes. Sure, sure. And I mean, sure enough, it bombed. That move show was terrible. Yeah, it was it, bad. That it was bad. What'd you do? Like a half a season, and they <sighs> cut you guys off. It's bad. It's bad, dude. I'm still digging myself bomb out of that City. hole. I've like <laughs> been in freaking actor jail ever since. You guys made a phenomenal show, but I just remember <laughs> it etched in my mind as like he, you were, because you were kind of this. Uh, if I was a chick, I would have fucked. You know what I mean? You were this ethereal, cool, hot guy with. Fun oh, curly thanks, hair. Bro. Yeah, I was like, I was, I was like riding the hipster wave pretty hard, and hipsters were hot at that time. Big time, dude. They're yeah. gone now. I got lucky with that, man. Yeah, you did. I like specifically remember like when I, I, it was like an MGMT music video, and I saw them all, and they're all wearing shit that like, cause I was so broke, we would go to the thrift store in Van Nuys, like, cause we lived in the workaholics house. We'd go to the thrift store like every, not ironically, cause that's where we could like afford shit. Yeah, I'm like these MGMT bros are like pulling thrift store fits. Yeah. I think I could roll out with like an old ass like Seahawk shirt, and probably chicks would be like, this guy's cool. That's when it all clicked for me. Yeah. Like just being broke boy Discount at the club. Living. Yeah, broke boy was like hot for a minute. But now you're but now you can't do broke boy anymore. Now you have to be um subtle rich guy. That's I, who you are. I mean, I I always ride the line. I'm, you know, I I like to keep keep it down to earth for sure. You are you are definitely a down to earth yeah. m- more so than the other two. Yeah, for sure. They got watches. I have hair ties. <laughs> <laughs> friendship bracelets that's still hanging on <laughs> i dig that though that let me wait let me see who made that one for you uh my daughter oh your daughter did yeah that's at, cool at actually adam's premiere for green eggs and ham oh really on netflix check it out check it out your daughter made that how yeah. old's your kid she's eight that's so cool yeah man. It's, it's... now what did you make for her 
uh, money and yeah, uh, yeah, her Life. dinners. Yeah. yeah, is that what you do when yeah. she gives you a friendship bracelet? <laughs> yeah. like, That's one more week of food. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna need a couple more of those. <laughs> this thing's hanging on though. That is really cool. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Um, the reason that uh, I wanted to sit down with you, a because I haven't had you on, I haven't seen you in a long time, and yeah, b. Man. We have a mutual good friend, Brandon Dermer. Shout mm-hmm. out to the Derms, the Derm Worms. He's the man. The nicest guy. Um, directed my first special. Yes. And has directed a ton of cool stuff and um, put out is putting out a movie yes. uh, that you did with Jillian and, um, oh my God. Kyle Newichek directed. Newichek and yeah. uh, yeah. Uh, 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 Harvey Gillian. G- uh, G- uh, Gillian? G- Gillian? G- Gillian? G- yeah. I don't bro. know, man, but I love that guy. Yeah. I can't say his last name. I'm being yeah. an idiot. But he does that show on FX. What uh, We Do in the what Shadows. What We Do in the Shadows is so- Which Kyle directs. So funny, man. It's very funny. That dude's so good on that show, mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. Um I'm on an FX show, but it's it's not as funny. Just not as funny. What? Yeah. Dave? Dude, not like that show. I mean- That show's good, man. I I like uh kind of, I binged Dave when I was filming Woke in Atlanta, at least the first season. That show, well, I thought, I think that show's fantastic. Thank you, man. And you're really funny, man. Cut it out. It's cr- it, You're actually a good actor, too. Say it again. You're a really good actor. God bless. I yeah. Love you, man. Don't yeah, make man. me fucking blush. I told you I wanted to hook up with you when I first saw you. <laughs> you know, don't do it again. Yeah, well, if you were drinking whiskey, maybe we could get somewhere, but I, I know, dude. It would be I, really I, weird if the podcast where you fuck your male guest is one where you were sober. Yeah. That would be very unpredictable. Real creepy. <laughs> but also, that's my OnlyFans. I'm going to only fuck my male guests while they get drunk and I get sober. <laughs> that's cool, man. Dreams, dude. Hey, man. Cheers. Hollywood. <laughs> We made it. Oh, God. Isn't it the best? It's the best, dude. <laughs> Are we going to ever stop? No, this is... By the way, I, I looked up the name of the movie because I forgot mm-hmm. Dermer's movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, when does it come out, by the way? Uh, I think it drops on November 2nd? Nov 2. That sounds about right. Nov 2. We'll say it. I can't keep it all the dates straight, man. No, how could you? You're doing so much. Yeah, I actually bro. looked it up because I forgot what the name of it was, but he sent it to me a while ago. I watched it. Mm-hmm. Very good. It's called uh, I'm Totally it's called Fine. called I'm Totally Fine. And uh, I saw that you, you have like a million things going on. You're yeah, man. Busy, you're a busybody boy. Well, that that movie was like really crazy because that was like a, you know, one of those pandemic shoots. Yeah. So like everybody was like, pr- it was like one of the first things. Kyle kind of did it on like a Shoestring. undercover. Yeah. Like people weren't even supposed to be in the same room at the time, but they're like, let's go do it. No let's union go. to bust you because that was way out. You shot that in like Midland, California or something like that? Or yeah. where were you guys? Well, see, I wasn't ever on set i did mm. everything on that's a phone true. yeah that's true everything is on the phone yeah so i was like yeah sure i'll do it i mean i i couldn't give an excuse like ah sorry man i'm too busy oh, man we don't have phones where i'm living <laughs> right now man it's like it's like i just had to film it on the iphone and i'm literally just locked up in the house so i yeah. was like sure bro. why not yeah yeah that it was it was shot very well it looks really cool yeah it's crazy when you know experimental like, shit like that i always think is fun where a bunch of people kind of go their own way and make something indie. Uh, it it like gives hope for other people that are trying to make indie shit to be like, dude, try it, fuck it, dude. That uh, that's the name of the game. That was the name of the game for us, like yeah, mail order comedy when we were doing like just internet sketches, man. Yeah, it's just doing it on your own. Yeah, I mean, dude, you guys follow the same suits, Sunny, the Sunny guys. I mean, they did the exact same thing. Is like, we'll just fucking make it and see if you guys like it or not. I mean, so often, like you know, youngsters come up and they're like, yo, like you got any tips? How do you like do it? I'm like make your own lane that's yeah. like the only way i know it's way different now because we were like doing it on youtube back before it was super saturated but like you just gotta like slay tiktok <laughs> like, sorry dude <laughs> you that, do. that's the lane you do like go slay tiktok to the best of your ability and then ride Hope whatever the that, that let's is. make a tiktok clip right now uh <laughs> Here's here's some easy stuff that that'll get mm-hmm. TikTok clip attention, right? Yeah. What do we like? We'll just, just like make a... up a fake conversation that can be um, uh, used as a sound. Ready? Like, uh, oh, bro, that glass is huge. You should see my dick. <laughs> is that what they do on clip TikTok? It, dude. I don't have TikTok. Perfect, dude. That's perfect. I don't have TikTok. <laughs> is that what they do on TikTok? <laughs> it's like twelve year olds. You should see my dick. 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 They will gotta, they remix it. It's gotta be right. It is kind of. It's, it's like foul, right? It, it's it's toilet it's toilet watching. I'm obsessed. I watch on the toilet every day. Every day I take a shit, I flip through TikTok for 15 minutes. Dude, the only time I ever saw it, and it almost got me to like get on it, is my manager Isaac was like, "Dude, you gotta watch what is on TikTok." I'm like, I'm trying to avoid that thing like a plague. But he's like, "There's so much like weird incest content." <laughs> I was like, "What?" <laughs> and sure enough, he pulled it up, and it's like be like a brother and sister, you know, and they're like, dun, 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 and they'll point to words like. 
we're just stepsisters. Right, 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 right. And you're like, we're... Well, they just broke up. Should we fuck? <laughs> it's, it's like the weirdest. Yes shit. or no. Yeah. Yes, yes or no. And they do just a, a, a choreographed dance together. Yeah, dude. It the future. <laughs> it is wild. It, it is it is wild to see how much great stuff is made on the internet in short in short space of time. Oh man. And also how much uh, you're allowed to just throw trash up there, and it doesn't matter. Yeah, but it is so entertaining. It's so I don't know, man. Our our brains are fucked, but whatever. It's funny. Who I, cares? I crack up. What else is gonna happen? I mean, what else are you gonna do? We we put the chip in us and like let us ride it out. We'll we'll figure it out. Yeah. What do you you want us to do? Shakespeare? Well, what about uh, your kid? Your kid? Do you give the kid the kid is allowed to be on that stuff or no? Uh, yeah, like, not, not TikTok or anything like that, but she definitely surfs YouTube, and that's fucking weird, dude. Yeah, what if she sees this? <sighs> I don't hi. think hi. she, I don't, I don't think she thinks hey, I'm Blake's funny. Hey, Blake's kid. Yeah, if she ever saw Wait, me. she doesn't think you're that. funny? Nah, I think she thinks it's cool that, like, I've been on television. Yeah, but outside of that, who cares? Yeah, I'm not letting her watch, I've never done anything for Kids. a young audience. Yeah, that's true. That's always so weird, like, when, like, workaholics fans will come up that have kids and they're like my nine-year-old wa- like loves you guys yeah. and they'll be like is that weird i'm a bad parent aren't i and it's never like yeah <laughs> but <laughs> it's just kind of like no it's cool like do you do you whatever whatever works in your house man yeah if you guys are like just throwing butthole talk around then okay <laughs> that's cool man that show was pretty sexual though but it was you fun. might have incest tiktoks coming your way that's all i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> That's the future of your kid. Do you have a son and a daughter? Just keep them separated. Yeah, man. Keep them in separate rooms now. Dude. I get people that say that they let their young kids watch, like, uh, me and Bobby's show, because Bobby and I back and forth all the time, and they say, like, the kids... I think the kids love all the bright colors that's in that room, and it's like it looks like yeah. a it looks like a, a McDonald's playhouse. Yeah, good for so way, I get it. Way to go, man. Yeah, way to, thanks, dude. You, We're trying to make it so the parents can watch it with their kids. And the kids can laugh at the idea of it. It's kind of like Disney. Yeah. Disney always had subliminal shit for adults, but then they were like, but it's all goofy fun for the kids. That's but also, the... every yeah. parent dies in Disney, <laughs> right? Every Dude, single time. Dude, that formed us, man. Yeah, those movies, like, when we were co- like growing up, those, that, those moments were... They were good for us. I'm telling you. It was formidable, yeah? Yeah, dude. So what now, though? Kids don't have any of that kind of stuff. No. Nah, Pixar, Pixar is the closest they'll get to those same kind of storylines. But it's that's fine, okay? So Because, okay, they're not getting it there, but then they're opening up YouTube and they're watching basically Faces of Death. They yeah. can very easily stumble onto a real video of someone dying. Yeah. Like, that, that can happen so easily when yeah. you're surfing the web. Yeah, I mean, I remember when we first saw that kind of stuff. Yeah, we were like, oh my God. Full on shock. I was in college when a guy showed me a video of uh, like a beheading video. That yeah, we, oh fuck, dude. It was the craziest thing. You're like, thing there's ever. no way that's real, right? Like, yeah, in your mind, you're just, like, phony, that's fake. Somebody fake that. You, 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 you had to say that. Yeah. Because you, 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 you just see saw it. a dude get his head chopped off. Yeah, it was wild. Now I bet kids stumble on that shit and they're like, Big deal. Next. Yeah, he fell weird. <laughs> yeah. That dude fell weird when they cut his head off. Yeah, also, dude, there's so much, like, like dudes just jumping off the top ropes in a wrestling match, and then their legs just, like, com- completely melting, <laughs> yeah, like, every dude. bone. Like, UFC. It's crazy. It, it, you see so much shit that is, like, absolutely, like, you people in Nam probably saw that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now it's just, like, you stumble upon it. Yeah, it's just Friday night. It's crazy. Did you? Are you into any of that shit, UFC? Uh, I definitely watch. I mean, it's brutal. I was always like a boxing fan growing up, and I always was like super into professional wrestling. Yeah. UFC, I'm down. I just don't like. I don't like no really. I don't fighters. know much about it. I mean, I would go. I've been I've been guested to go to a few of those things. Yeah, I've I didn't really go on my own, but like seeing it's wild. I just um, hearing it's crazy. Oh. Like if you've been to a live boxing match. Boxing is amazing, mm-hmm. and the sound is pretty impressive, but, like, uh, flesh to flesh is wild to hear. Oh, God, It just dude. sounds so different. Yeah, it's, just, it's bad. It, you, you're, you're, it's supposed to sound bad. Uh, but like, think about it. The Gladiators, used, that, was, that was real raw, like, <laughs> bare-knuckle boxing. That was, like, the standard, and then we t- put on gloves. Dude, uh, so like... So our ancestors were used to crazy shit like that. Like, really crazy. Like, I fell into this weird-ass hole, like, the other day. How did the hell did I get there? Anyways, it was some way that, like, the Chinese used to kill people. Like, public executions were, like, the thing back in the day. But, but still not. I think they're still doing it. Well, this cause was called, like, Death of a Thousand Cuts. Oh, Ling Chi. 
you know. Yeah, Ling Chi. It's real, dude. Oh, yeah, you Ling can, and, and it was in a time where they were taking photos, too. So if you want to look that up at your own <laughs> risk, like, it's just people, like, tied up with chunks of meat. And, like, just homies, like, sitting around, like... This is <laughs> this is our television. Ling Chi, yeah, Death of a Thousand Cuts. Yeah. And it's true, they do. They It's, it's a thousand like, cuts, and your flesh will start falling off. Dude, it, like, people are so fucked up. People are, dude, I mean, we were talking about the other night. We were talking on set. We were sitting and, like, waiting to get up, and I said how um, tarring and feathering is such an insane torture technique because... <laughs> it, it sounds hilarious. You're like, you made a dude a bird. Yeah. But also, the tar burns their skin so off <laughs> underneath. <laughs> so they're burning, and then you're also like, put feathers on that guy. It's it's insult to injury at its finest form. And our the history of people's brutality, oh. I think it's just gotten subdued, thank God. But uh, yeah. if we kept up on that line, I mean, like the Four Horsemen, right, where they pull you in all directions. Yeah. and that, oh, that kind of shit's in medieval tech uh, torture techniques are insane dude there's this one where like they like tie you to a log and they like put honey all over you and just Wait like float you out into the middle of a pond and then just bugs eat you oh my god <laughs> yeah and you're just getting like sunburned and shit just floating on a log just floating on a log and if it getting... flips over then you die I think they definitely like put in the work so that it does not flip so over. So you stay, you stay side. Oh up. yeah, you're getting. <laughs> but do you imagine the first guy that tried to push the guy out? He just like, flipped over oh. and died. Like, oh my god, dude! He just drowned. That's like, oh. that's, that was like three gallons of honey. Fuck! That dude stole like fifty bucks from me. <laughs> that dude needed to pay. In here, we pour whiskey. whiskey. This episode of Whiskey Ginger is brought to you by BetterHelp. Hey, I've spoken about BetterHelp on this show so many times. I think it's awesome. Uh, I believe in therapy, and I think uh, you should try it too if you're looking for someone to talk to. Unfortunately, life doesn't come with a user manual, so when it's not working out for you, it's normal to feel stuck, like when you can't run or punch in a dream. It's very annoying. They have therapists uh, that are licensed and trained to help you figure out the cause of challenging emotions and learn productive coping skills, which makes therapy the closest thing to a guided tour of the complex engine called you. You're unique, you little snowflake, so... uh, you know, have someone help you figure out all the little intricacies inside your mind that keep you up at night or make you feel uncomfortable about life in general. If you've never been to therapy before, you've never done it before, this is easy and wonderful because you have to do it online. It's 100% done online. And uh, I really enjoy it. I love talking to somebody and I like doing it from the comfort of my home. That's my uh, big plus for BetterHelp. And they're the world's largest therapy service. BetterHelp has matched 3 million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists available 100% online plus it's affordable just fill out a brief questionnaire to match with the therapist if things aren't clicking you can easily switch to a new therapist anytime and it couldn't be simpler no waiting rooms no traffic no endless searching for the right therapist learn more and save 10 percent off your first month at betterhelp.com slash whiskey that's better help h-e-l-p better help Dot com slash whiskey. This episode of Whiskey Ginger is brought to you by Rabbit Hole Distillery and their one-of-a-kind Kentucky bourbon and rye whiskeys. I've been telling you about Rabbit Hole. Jump down the rabbit hole with the ginge. I love this stuff. I've been sipping on this high gold. One of my favorite of their four expressions. All four are delicious, but this is their high-ride double malt bourbon, and this stuff is good. It's the good jazz. I also love the Cave Hill. That's very good as well. Cave Hill is their four-grain triple malt bourbon. Uh, that's their OG, their original bourbon release. But this stuff's been tickling my tongue lately, and I really do enjoy it. They also have the Boxer Grail, Sour Mash Rye, and Derringer's Sherry Finished Bourbon. That's, of course, finished in them sherry casks. What I love about these guys is everybody says, you know, they're small batch, but that can mean a 1,000 barrels. Not them. Uh-uh. 15. One, five, 15 barrels. So you know the quality is going to be there in every single bottle that you pick up in the store near you. And uh, I'm starting to see a lot of brands say toasted barrels, uh, especially releases. Every single one of Rabbit Hole's expressions is aged in both charred and toasted barrels. Double down, baby, at a low entry point. And it is never chill filtered, just as it should be. It tastes so very good. I've seen a lot of you guys send me screenshots of you drinking some Rabbit Hole. Shout out to that. I love this stuff. Go support Kentucky bourbon. And the way it's supposed to be, this stuff is very, very good. Go to rabbitholedistillery.com slash drizzly, rabbitholedistillery.com slash drizzly. Use promo code rabbit for $5 off your first order or go to rabbitholedistillery.com and just check out the map where they tell you how to get Rabbit Hole in your area. It's located all over the place. Go drink some, drink responsibly, have fun. Ginger. I like gingers. Well, okay, what would your <laughs> what would your torture be that's not brutal but like clever or funny? That I would do to someone? Yeah, if, See, you, if they gave you a torture pass... A tort, if someone dude. did you so wrong in life, 
<laughs> and the judge gave you a torture pass. Was like, hey man, you could torture somebody, dude. It, maybe it would be like on brand, and I would feed them hair till they died. Like See? you have to eat so much, so much hair, hair that you hair. Like start to suffocate. Like the hair starts to build up See? in your throat. You know that would probably suck. I like it You're though. You're just like. <gasps> But your hair just keeps growing, right? Yeah. It's like uh, 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 Samson or whatever. Like you just keep your hair. Every time you cut it, grows, and you have to keep feeding him and it's feeding like, him hair. Yeah, it's like a Play-Doh machine. See, this is tight. Yeah, that's kind of your a cool, brain can I go there. I just came up with that. Your brain can go there. I dude. watched Dahmer too much. Did you finish it? No, I hated it. it was, Creepy. I've, I'm not down with that. Just eat a sandwich. <laughs> he was good. Just eat yourself a sandwich. I was oh, like, the actor oh. was so... Chris, uh, what's his name? Uh, I don't know. We're Evans. really good with names. Yeah, man, I'm so bad. What's his name? <laughs> How did we make it in Hollywood? <laughs> Evans something Evans I don't know well that's why because we didn't pay attention to any of the names mm. but I can pull like old like fucking sports figures mad easy yeah the other day we were doing this shoot and they were we were trying to make up names from Atlanta and uh, you know I was like Dominique Wilkins and yeah. David Justice and I was like throwing out random names to Kembe Mutombo but I can't name <laughs> I couldn't tell you who's on like the Hawks right now I thought you were gonna say who's on my show with me yeah I don't know <laughs> no that is also true I have no fucking idea who's on Dave <laughs> People come and go. I'm like, you are you on this show now? Like, yeah, no, I'm on it. We had some, we got here. some fucking amazing guest stars this year. I can't. I wish I could say some. Some of them are absurd. Yeah, some of them are that like is one thing out of control. Your show is very good. At, it gets some like cool, rare. Dave guests. pulls everybody from the hip hop world. Yeah, and then their friends of the hip hop world who are kind of adjacent. Right, which is like, and it's funny because I don't NBA ever get to meet players. them. Yeah, yeah, athletes. Yeah. I never get to meet them because I'm never in those scenes. Yeah, that's so <laughs> I always hear it's tight. <laughs> just show up on set. No thanks. Are they like no? <laughs> no, I just don't. What am I doing? I can't. If I if I'm not working, I'm not at work. Yeah. If I'm not at work, I'm chilling yeah. or doing another job, which is like. Yeah, I would say the only way that would be excusable is if like you're producing it, then you like have an excuse yeah. to be like by the moment. Or if it's or someone I absolutely have to meet. Like I, would, I, I was trying to like if we had Jordan on the show, I would I would come for Michael Jordan, obviously. Yeah. If we had like, if we ever got like Drake, I kind of want to meet Drake. <laughs> you know, I kind of want to meet Drake. Oh, what you went from Jordan to Drake? Well, because I went music and athletes. That's what you said. So that's kind of all we sure, get. Sure, but Drake. Yeah. Drake! Drake! <laughs> How about Soldier Boy? I'd pull up for that. I'd pull up for Soldier Boy. Yeah. <laughs> but undeniable. Your list Drake. is getting pretty big now. <laughs> Drake, Soldier, Soldier Boy, Boy uh, Waka Flocka. <laughs> no, not for Waka. What? I'd, pass. I'd pass on Waka. Oh, wow. Yeah. I he's nice. Actually, I, maybe. I'm sure he is. I did a. I I tried to get a cartoon made, and he was a voice of one of the uh, the characters, and dude, he was so good. What happened? How come it didn't go? I don't know. Well, let's sue the company that bought it and didn't that put it out. Comedy Central. <laughs> Bombs. Bombs. Yeah, couldn't even throw me a freaking bone, Come man. on, Comedy Central. CC, bro. Are they still around? L like, a little bit. They're still kicking it. Are yeah. they still running episodes of Workaholics? That's a great question. Not to my knowledge. Yeah, they must. Every now and then. But, yeah. you know, that shit is so convoluted now. I think it's Paramount Plus is where you can really watch it. That's, that's where we're doing our movie. Well, on Paramount movie. Plus. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Paramount Plus. Yeah. What's yeah. up with that? The movie? Yeah. Would I mean we're supposed to start shooting like January, hopefully here in L.A. So wow. pull pull up the set. I that I'll pull up for. You, you were on you, Game Over Man, right? I did. T I did a scene in Game Over Man. You me were and Adam awesome. Wright. We in were that. cops. You were awesome. Yeah, we had a good time. That was a fun. That was super fun. Yeah. Uh, and uh, <laughs> you're a good actor, well, dude. Thank you, dude. And you're funny. Look at this. <laughs> it put me in the new movie. Then we'll see. Maybe oh. I'll swing on by, dude. I mean, if we're shooting in Van Nuys, I'm hoping. Every we just have to write like Royal Rumble scenes or something. That's actually really funny. <laughs> that, you should write a Royal. You should do a Royal Rumble scene, and then get like a, and get like a get like a cage and everything. Everyone can like jump off of the cage and in, in the <laughs> yeah. center and shit. Yeah, people are like, oh yeah, the Workaholics movie was just a really long wrestling match <laughs> <laughs> with just their buddies. All my homies back home loved it. <laughs> yeah, it was a quick kill, dude. Uh, well, how much did it make? Like 180 bucks in the box office, but it. It hey, was bro, tight. That, that's not going in the box office. No, it's, it's Paramount, Paramount Plus. Plus that's dude. true. Shh, we don't have but to. But nothing is anymore. Nothing really making it to the theater these days. Because I also, like, even things that take shots, like they took a shot on that bros comedy, mm -hmm. uh, um, Billy Eichner. No. Yeah, Billy <laughs> yeah. Eichner. Yeah. yeah. You I got it. For a second. See, we got a name. <laughs> I was going to say Billy Eilish, but Billie Eilish. that's a singer. She's tight. She is She's cool. She's so dope. Yeah. She's like one of those young kids where I'm, I feel like the old dad where I'm just like, you are and you're so talented, kiddo. Uh, Billy what Eichner's color movie. is your hair? What, what color you, is it this week? How do you get it so bright? Billy, Billy Eilish. <laughs> Billy Irish. Oh, Billy Irish is so good. The Billy Irish, do you? Oh, Billy Irish. <laughs> you're a great singer, aren't you, Billy Irish? 
<laughs> she, uh, Bill, uh, no, but I uh, he put out that movie, and you take a shot at a comedy yeah. in the theater with Judd behind it and all that stuff, and still, it's so hard to make money on a comedy now that like Black Adam is what you're against. <laughs> you're against the rock, yeah, superhero fucking. It, that's impossible to compete with these these superhero movies now in theaters. Ah, yeah, I don't know. That is a real puzzle that uh, we have to figure out as comedians. No like, thanks. I'll just do it offline. Just do it Paramount. Just Plus. do it in Paramount Plus, man. <laughs> it's just easier. Yeah, it is. I don't know. I was I was rooting for Bros, but that also is a, that's a kind of a tough one. Not you know. Well, I'll see it. I didn't see it, but I would like to see it. Yeah. But like, I could see where. It bros, like you, you and your dudes, like if you're like really not cool with gay stuff, I yeah, don't you're know. probably you're, not gonna go see it. You're not like, yo, homie, you want to go see bros tonight and like just us? Like, I don't know. You have to be, <laughs> you have to be a certain level of comfortable with it. It's so funny. You have to be so comfortable with your sexuality to go see bros as a straight guy that you probably have to invite three because you're like, if it's two, <laughs> even numbers are weird, dude. bro. Because that just be double dates. <laughs> yeah, if dude. it's three, it's just three homies. You dude. do have to think of it. Like we can't be ignorant to that. Like, yeah. And uh, this is coming from a guy who brought his mom to Brokeback Mountain, all right? And it was <laughs> it was weird afterwards. Very and my weird. mom, like, yeah. knows I'm straight, kind of. Kind of. Like, not enough to when we got out of the theater, she wasn't like, so do you want to tell me something? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, she really did. You did always play Cowboys and Indians when you were a kid, <laughs> and you loved to be a cowboy, didn't you? Yeah, you and the your chaps, boys. Those yeah, chaps. the chaps were so hot. I get that, dude. I get the. I get that. That's a thing that people have to think about is like straight dudes who are like, oh, I'm not fucking... Even if they think it might look funny, they might be like, oh, I don't, I'm not going to see that, dude. I'm just saying, like, you usually go with like... I, I don't know. It's like it has to be considered. I know it sucks that it does, but like, I just... I just know humans, and I know dudes. I know bros. Bros, you know bros. If anybody knows bros, <laughs> I know bros. You know bros. Hey, we know bros. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've no bros. <laughs> you guys garnered the biggest uh, at some point, like a bro audience, so big from the show that like it's it's interesting to see what they're gonna be like when we're all sixty. Oh yeah. You know? Are they still gonna be broing out hard? Do you think, or it tapers off? Dude, bros never die. <laughs> bros never die. You know that. Bros never die. No. Never say die, bro. Dude, my dad's a bro. <laughs> is your dad a bro? He's a six-year-old bro. Is he? It like a form of bro. Does he skate, surf, that kind of thing? <laughs> no, he just fucking... Rips bongs. Watches football, drinks beer, fucking He's a bro. eats a ton of like melted cheese. <laughs> bro. Heavy bro. <laughs> yeah, just bro. <laughs> what bro What bro thing does your dad do still today that uh <laughs> He's uh, he should have outgrown. Does he do a thing um, where he should have outgrown it? Uh, I feel like he wears like flat brim hats. <laughs> oh, he flat brims? Sick! <laughs> yeah. Damn dog, what's up? Yeah, a few of them, not all of them, but some of them are still. I respect that. <laughs> I can't wear flat brim. I have a little nugget head, and if you have a small head, you can't. You could can, you can wear flatties. I don't know that I do anymore. I don't. I I think it's like became like took on a life of its own. But you have so. But the hair under a flat would still look tight. That's true. There is a guy who works for the Warriors. He like waves the flag. Like yeah, I seen that guy. Yeah, yeah. And he flat brims, and I'm like, well, if I put it, uh, he's he took it. He took it. That's, I can't wear it. That's his like thing. there's only a few ways that this hair can do things before they categorize you as that person. Is that guy. Yeah. Dude. Would you ever cut it? Well, yeah, like for a role. If someone's like, yeah. you have to shave it for a role. Well, I, 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 I talked about it. I said it um, for Mister Freeze. If they asked me oh, to be Mister Freeze, I'd do it. That's so sad. And then fucking, they like dropped the poster like yesterday for the Batman Two, mm -hmm. and it's all like iced out. I'm like, oh, fuck. They didn't call I, you. Well, I called Isaac, my manager. I said, what's up? Is, is anybody cast? And it's probably Brian Cranston. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's some huge name. Yeah, they're saying like Ben Kingsley. Like, come Is on, it someone I can go up against? Maybe it's I'll shave my head. <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> yeah, it's not. They're like, who is that again? What is he going to do with this? Why is he doing it? What? It's We're not good. happening. But I'll be a henchman. Whatever, dude. I just want to be by Mister Freeze. Tight. True. Yeah. Any Batman movie, I'd love to be in. I love Batman. This is your favorite of all the superheroes? I think as far as like like I collect a lot of comics, but as far as like reading and like the best comics are by far Batman stories. They're so good. So that's interesting. I've never seen it. I've never read a comic in my life, but I was obsessed with Batman because of the movie when I was a kid. Dude, I was obsessed. Like, if you're going to read comic books, that's like, the one. Get get some like. There's so many good Batman stories. Like really badass shit. It's but the problem is I'm supposed to start. I'm supposed to read regular books, mm. and I don't even do that. No, I don't do that. Yes, yeah, so I just go nah. back to picture books. Yeah, dude, comic book, comic graphic book. novels, graphic novels. 
That's a nice way to say Dude, it. Dude, it gets you so far. <laughs> I read so many graphic novels. <laughs> I read one in a day. And some chick is like, what are you reading? And you're like, oh my God, I have a stack of graphic novels in my, uh, in my yeah. house. Hush, Batman Hush. <laughs> <laughs> do you, now, do you collect me one of these dude that has like really expensive, rare, like like number number three and all that, Bat- I, Superman three or whatever all that shit is? Like if I do, it's purely because I bought it when like I was a youngster, like with the paper out okay. money. Like I've held on to all of them, but like I've it was never on some like... I need that one, and I need it graded or anything like that. That's I just, wild. I just like have you spawn. Still have I have spawn number one, and that's legit, it's, right? It's worth money. Is Don't, it in? A, is it in like a? It's not. No, be, but I have it because the cover looked cool as fuck. And Why wouldn't you do it now? Just put it in a frame it. Let's frame it. Yeah, it's ri- when you get in that world of like comic grading, it's weird, man. Like they. They take points off for nothing, dude. For for like uh like if there's um they can see where a finger oil has touched a page and all it's that. It's wild. They handle them with like gloves. That's nice. Nice. But like the grading system's weird because it's all just like these three dudes. There's only like three only guys. Three I, guys are allowed yeah, to judge it. You, yeah, you like send it to them and they're like maybe they're having a bad day and they're like this is only nine six. Whoa, and that's like, weird. <sighs> Stan Lee is the guy who used to do it. Yeah, he's he he was like the head of all of them. Was like. <laughs> Eight four, and they were like eight four. <laughs> Bow down every time he said a yeah. number. Uh, that was like baseball cards. Now did have that thing for a long time where they did have these crazy, gra- crazy grading systems of yeah. like, and the, the edges, like the sharpness of the of the edge. Yep. That was the most important thing, like how crisp it was and how perfect the picture was layered on. Yeah, when you, when you get into like hardcore collector shit, it's just like. Oh man, I just can't. I don't take can't care keep of up. anything that like that. How do, well. What do you do? You collect anything? Do you have any kind of like? Uh, I collect comic books. I collect it, dude. Well, <laughs> me and Kyle used to collect energy drinks. <laughs> like we tried to get every. I don't think if you realize, like in the like 2010s, there were like over like 500 different energy drinks. Yeah, like Jolt. Bro, like like uh, stuff you wouldn't even imagine. Like and you still have them. Like hyphy juice. <laughs> like I don't know what that is. like it's from the Bay Area. Like everybody had one. Like there there was balls. Like you name it. There were so many. And now what's left? Almost none. Oh no, we recycled them all when we got really broke. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. When we didn't have before we got workaholics, rent had to be due. <laughs> you well, would, and you guys, not all of you were living in that house, right? Not Durs. Durs wasn't. It was uh, me, Adam, Kyle, Kyle's brother, and his uh, fiance. Wild. Yeah. And Durs was, of course, living in a mansion in Bel Air at the yeah, time. He Regardless was, yeah, regardless of... Yeah, he comes from money. Yeah, <laughs> he's got money. On Durs. <laughs> well, that'd be so cool. No, he was living with his girl. He, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he was, a yeah, like actually a, a real member of society. Yeah, he was functioning. Yeah. Yeah, he was doing his thing. He was like a writer's assistant. Oh, was he? Yeah. Oh, I never knew that. He probably told you. I didn't listen. <laughs> I don't listen to that yeah, guy. he was. He like worked on Bones and then like on Bill Maher. So we that were all, I remember. I do remember he did Bill Maher. Yeah. yeah. So we were always like, yeah, dude, like, what's up? And then like when he on the weekends we would just write sketches and shit. That's so cool, man. In it's our, wild. And, and you guys are still somewhat close, I guess, right? Very. You are. I mean, that's not what he says about you, dude. Really? He's got really bad things to say. Really? That's weird. He can yeah. say it to my face, man. I can take it. I don't think so. He did say he gets nervous around you about admitting the truth. Really? Yeah. Dang, he knows it's gonna hurt. He me. said something to the effect of like, he has a little bit of weird beef with you, uh, because you had stolen like half a sandwich that he had his eyes on and had called, and Jeez. you and you kind of like were not apologetic about it. Like you were like, that's you know, what? it is what it is, dog. It's a turkey sub, and I think you, Damn. I think you mouthed it in front of him, and he got really weird about it. <laughs> that sounds like me, because I will fucking slit somebody's throat for a turkey sub. <laughs> that is my shit. jam, dude. What's your? How about this? What is? What really is your go-to uh, sub order if you're gonna go get a big fat sub sandwich? What dude, are we talking? The secret is you go to the grocery store and you hit their deli oh, counter. Oh shit! They still have prices that are reasonable. Very much. You know, you get a foot long sub there for like six bucks. <laughs> yeah, dude. And you can't get any sub around here for less than like 20 bucks anymore. This, isn't that fucking weird, dude? I went to a burger joint. Am I going to say the name? I'm not kidding, but a friend was like, you have to go try. Because now in LA, there's all these new burger joints popping up. Smash burgers. Yeah, and they're everywhere. And yeah. you know probably know the one I'm thinking of. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not kidding. I go there, and I was like, I've never been here. What's the go-to for you guys? I always ask them, like, what's the thing you guys do? She's like, yeah. oh, you got to get it this style, and this, this, and blah, blah, blah. And I said, mm-hmm. okay, I'll get a Mexican Coke, and I want fries, and okay. And she's like, uh, twenty eight ninety nine, and I was like, what? for a fucking cheeseburger <laughs> One and patty. fries and a coke. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, you got the blah 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 style or whatever. And I was like, what's in it? 
Onions. Gold? Yeah, onions. That is. It was grilled onions. I was like, how in the fuck? But that's the problem with these new re- restaurants now with like this. is like, I'll try it once. I'm never going back. Nah. That's the bummer. It's like, you, that, okay, I get the allure of like, dude, it's different and we don't have something like this. And then you get it and you're like, cool, but also definitely never going back. Yeah, catch me at the freaking Ralph's <laughs> Deli. 100, dude. Yeah. But also, catch me at one of these little bullshit burger window joints that I can go to and get a $5 burger still. Yeah, you can no. still find a little. They're out. They're out. You got to go. You gotta go to the, you gotta go to the east side. You can't or go to like Deep Valley. Well, dude, valleys the valleys where valleys it's the at. best. Yeah, love the valley. If you can stand the heat, it's it's all good. If you ain't no bitch, <laughs> come to the valley, hey, boy. Van when nuts. you first moved down here to LA, did you move to the valley? Uh the first place we lived, I lived with Adam and Kyle. We lived in a really small spot, like off of like La Brea in the Miracle Mile district. Is like really close to like the Roscoe's over there. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that's Adam used to do a like a show out there. Like, so, damn, what was At the, the mint? mint? There used to, the mint is down there. I don't think it was, it was the what was there was Mo Better Mondays at the Improv. Improv Mo Better Mondays was at the Improv, and he worked at the Improv. That's what. Yeah, that, yeah. but yeah. there was maybe it was the Comedy Union. Comedy Union is that out yeah. that way? Yeah, that's down south. That's by you guys. I don't know how I would have pulled that, but how did yeah. you do that? I don't know. Pretty good. I used to go with Adam to every stand up show. But just to watch and chill out, and you, you mean you didn't get up ever? Never. You would just watch? Well, drink tickets. Sure. Like, if I'm with the performer, I got, like, free beer. Fuck yeah. But also just to kind of, like, be around comedy. Did you ever give notes? Were you ever talking? Like, did you ever, if he, was was he ever, like, yo, was that a good, what'd you think about this, this, and this? Um, not really. He didn't, like, like, grill me about it or anything. But if, like, it was a good set, like, I'd always be, because Adam always had a way, no matter, like, we would go to some of the worst like the weirdest rooms, you know, as a oh, comedian. I did them. I did all of them. Like we would pull up to like uh, Howl at the Moon, the like piano bar at Universal City. Oh Walk. yeah, dude. He would perform at like everywhere, and like the audience was not there to see comedy really. No, and they eat chicken wings. Yeah, and like bomb after bomb, like bad comic after bad comic. Adam would get on stage. He'd always get laughs. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He always would at least like get the crowd listening and laughing. He gets something. Yeah. Yeah. Always. Yeah. He was always good. Adam was always a good com- and and a good dude. And it's rest in peace. It's too bad he's eh, not with us anymore. I man. Know. It's, it's a, just a bummer. It's really. So it was the energy drinks. <laughs> Fucking guy. <laughs> the god of good, dude. That was to him, brother. That was to you, dog. Yeah. In here, we pour whiskey. Whiskey. It's football season, baby. Among so many other things, it's also basketball season. It's also hockey season. Uh, and I'm here to tell you about Prize Picks. Prize Picks is daily fantasy. If you play fantasy, you got to play Prize Picks daily fantasy. It's incredible. Uh, I think it's so cool. It's so easy to play. And your boy has won a couple hundred dollars doing it. Uh, you pick two to five players, and uh, if they will go score more or less than the Prize Picks projection, you can win up to 10 times your money on any entry. That's pretty incredible there's no competing against other people it's just you versus the projections so it's not another person there some dork in his garage uh in upstate new york no 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 it's you versus the machine baby you versus the computer prize picks offers projections on any sport that you watch i promise if it's a sport they got it on there uh mma boxing uh college basketball uh of all genders uh they do it all soccer WNBA, they got it all on Prize Picks. You got to check it out. Entries can be made in sixty seconds or less. It's that easy. Safe and fast withdrawals. So you get your money right away. Give me the money. Give me the money. Give me the money. Currently operational in over thirty states, including Canada. Our boys up north. So if you like uh, fantasy, uh, daily fantasy Prize Picks is the way to go. You can play it all the time. Pick two, go up against the computer, see if you win. Download the Prize Picks app or go to PrizePicks.com to sign up and play daily fantasy sports, baby. First time users can receive a 100% instant deposit match up to $100 with promo code WHISKEY. Put in 100, get 100. Use the promo code WHISKEY. If you deposit 100, Prize Picks is going to give you 100 right back. If you deposit 50, they're going to give you 50. Don't forget to enter the promo code WHISKEY at sign up for an instant deposit match up to $100. Prize Picks, go pick them, baby. With the bustling holiday season right around the corner, it's the perfect time to plan ahead with Factor. Factor, ready-to-eat meal delivery service. They shop, prep, and cook and deliver to your door so you can enjoy chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals during the holidays, minus the hassle. Look, I'm getting busier and busier and busier. And I got to tell you, Factor was amazing. I wanted to try it out. They sent me over, and it was delicious and fresh and tasted so good. 
They got vegan and veggie options, 36 plus weekly add-ons. You have plenty of nutrition. And uh, everyone's holiday is jam-packed, so let someone else do some of the work for you. They're offering 34 meals per week and 36-plus add-on options, smoothies, juices, snacks, and more to keep you going during the middle of the day so you're not eating big, huge, heavy, stupid meals, particularly fast food when you're on the run. Stinks. It's cheaper than dining out, plus the money you save goes towards holiday fun and you time, baby. Do what you need to do. If you got a special occasion meal, Gourmet Plus is the perfect solution uh, when you're looking for fast upgrade options done very easy. Uh, not only does Factor offer fast, simple solutions uh, when I'm too busy to cook, they also help me stay on top of my goals with offerings like Protein Plus, and they got Keto. Uh, they got everything I need for a week of flavorful, nutritious eats. In addition to ready-to-eat meals, they got cold-pressed juice and smoothies, like I said, and easy bites. So go to factor75.com slash whiskey60 and use code whiskey60 to get 60% off your first box. That's code whiskey60 at go.factor75.com slash whiskey60 to get 60% off your first box. Ginger. I like gingers. I, c- hard. I stopped having energy drinks after like uh, one time I couldn't catch my breath when I had too much of one and I was like, this is enough of this. Yeah, fuck You know those. that where you're like, ah, where you're like, oh my God, I'm amped up on this shit, dude. Energy drinks, I, I could drink a pot of coffee and not feel the way I yeah. feel off of one fucking energy drink. Yeah, there's some shit in there that's mutating our testicles. It's bad, bad, bad. Oh, it's so bad. It's bad. I remember uh, for some reason we used to get a ton of like free monster energy drinks to the house and... Adam would drink them like every morning, like every afternoon, and then that was the when we like discovered what um, what is it when you get the rocks in your dick? Oh, uh, 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 kidney stones. stones. Yeah, stones. Yeah, he dude. got stones. Yeah. No. Yeah, I had to look in his pee hole. Like, no, I did not. What do it look that. like, dude? It's a flashlight. He's like, it's in there. I swear. Keep looking. I don't see it. If you kiss it, sometimes the stones will come out. Oh. All right, I'll just suck on it until the stones come out, man. Come yeah, just on. suck, just suck on it till all Ow. the kidney stones come out. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. I never. Whew, yeah. That's My scared dad me had them one time. Now, did Adam have them? Do, did he have them? Um, you know, they break them up, right? Like they do this thing where they can break them up. Yeah, they like them, have to like. <laughs> yeah, they massage your cock. Kind of right like up. one of those glow sticks where you crack them. To yeah, activate you have to them. crack the cock in half and <laughs> smack it. You have to smack it a few and then times. You pepper grate it. <laughs> <laughs> Say when? <laughs> yeah, no, dude, it's a problem. <laughs> it's a bu- that's a massive bummer. Yeah, I'm not and I've heard they it's like pissing razors. My dad yeah. said it was the worst pain. My dad's like, I've been in car accidents. I've been knocked out in a fist fight. He's like, nothing hurts like pissing razors. He's like, it is it is excruciating pain. Can you imagine just fucking sweating? Fucking, oh my God, dude. Pissing out pebbles. Oh my God. But by the way, when they come out, I've seen pictures. They're so small. You're like, it's that small. It's like a little miniature, but all that does all that damage because it has to pass through your... Your dick. <laughs> you don't know what it's like, girls. You don't know what it's like. Well, oh, they... your period comes once a month. Try passing a stone. Well, you don't. If you eat healthy, if your diet's good, you probably won't get it. Yeah, them. you're not going to get them. Yeah. It's, I think it's about like sodium intake. It's high salts, uh, yeah. fats, and uh, and monster. <laughs> and monster, Apparently. which has is just fat salt. Fat salts. Melted. It should be called fat salts. <laughs> yeah. That's well, all it is. Fat salt. <laughs> fat, get, a, get yourself a can of fat salts. Yeah, this one has a 50% juice in it, though. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, nah. dude. Or sugar-free. Come on. Nah. Who cares? You're fucked. You're fucked, dude. <laughs> don't do it. Get the sugar. Yeah. You don't. You seem like you're such a healthy dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you eat healthy. Uh, Your bod's good, dude. Your arms thanks, are good. Bro. Dad's been going to the gym, yeah. hasn't he? I mean, I exercise. Yeah. 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 You eat healthy or no? Uh, I wouldn't say I think about what I eat. You don't. Yeah. Yeah. But you're not. Uh, like I, 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 I go to the burger spots. I love Mexican food. Mm. Like, what I'll about get, the people? I love Mexican. Okay, people. cool. We just want to clarify. I lived in Van Nuys, dude. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> you're down, dude. Bro, I'm you're good. In yeah, Van you're down. Nuys. You're down. You're one, of, you're one of the good ones. Go Wolves. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm down. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. But I mean, I also love food. I love the way it tastes when it's good. Truth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna let, take that huge fucking joy out of my life. Come on. No, I don't get it. I can't. Yeah. I've tried. Yeah. I don't I can't. know. I've dude, tried. Hollywood people are skinny as. Fuck, dude. It's also that they're uh, they're deprived. Like they just they'll do that thing where they're like, uh, oh, I can't have a donut. That's that's crazy. Oh, You're like, sure you can, man. You can dude, absolutely have a fucking donut. I had one. A, I had the best donut the other day. Sidecar donuts. Have you heard of it? Nah. 
dude, check it out. Where's it at? Uh, it's like Culver City. Shout out to Sidecar in Culver City. Dude. We're coming at you. Yeah, man. It's, they were fucking delicious. Now, what, do, what, what? Are you a cake donut? Are you original glazed? Are you Sprankies? Are you Long John's Bear Claws? <sighs> I mean, I love uh, apple fritters. Woo! I fucking, I love a maple bar. This I guy love, loves a maple bar. I love crawlers. You know what those crawlers, are? Crawlers, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love crawlers. Like, they're like eggy in the middle. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, with a I love all donuts. But no, sidecar no donuts kind of like, they, they're a little bit of a game changer. I gotta go now. Dude, you gotta try I like try cake it. donuts because cake donuts remind me of my grandmother would smoke and have coffee and dip the cake donut in coffee. And I... <laughs> Love all of those things. Yeah, that's I a love, fucking cool look. Oh, it's so good, dude. Can't smoke anymore. Yeah, what did she smoke? She smoked, uh, this. Uh, my uncle would smoke Paul Mall, unfiltered Paul Mall cigarettes. Fuck yeah. And they would smoke those or Winston's. Shout out Winston's, to Winston's, dude. Tough. That's a tough smoke. Tough guy cigarette. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like Marlboro Reds, That's Winston's. like you might lose a tooth. Winston's or you might lose a tooth. That's some cowboy shit. Uh-huh. Yeah. Did you smoke? Did you ever smoke cigarettes? All, all my homies growing up smoke like chimneys like kyle big smoker like and we used to just sit in my homie john paul's house and just hot box it with cigarettes <laughs> i did not smoke <laughs> you just sat there i tried so i wanted to smoke so bad that i used to um make uh john paul's older brother buy me capri cigarettes you know what those are <laughs> they're like skinny like <laughs> yeah dude because <laughs> i just wanted to belong with my friends virginia man. slims over there shoot so i was like dude i'll smoke capris and i tried to like make a fucking mm -hmm. thing of it but mm -hmm. really not I, I never fucked with cigarettes also capris are embarrassing to be seeing you smoking <laughs> on that little skinny, skinny dude little stick. with the hair it was kind of a good look man. <laughs> you, you just are, have to embrace it you are a babe dude <laughs> you You're just a babe. have to embrace it i knew a guy a guy that uh, when i first moved here kind of intimidated the fuck out of me and i would smoke cigarettes but i'd sneak it because i didn't want them to see and we worked together and he would smoke cloves Dude, I that, went down that road that a little bit. That was like bit. a cool bad boy, clove boy. Yeah, little did we know, like, cloves were not, they were the opposite They were of whack cool. as fuck. Yeah, they, like, sold that shit at, like, Renaissance fairs. <laughs> oh, it's 100% who that, smokes them. When I saw that, I was like, wait a minute. People that have transition <laughs> lenses love cloves. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah collars dude. up. All collars up shirts. Dark, yeah. dark guys with low caps. You can't see their eyes. They really tried to sell that shit as cool. And they yeah. smelt kind of good, I remember. They did stink good. They yeah. did stink good. It's, it's not like the... Um, uh, when you do um, set cigarettes, like pe for people at home, like when oh. we smoke weed on set or smoke cigarettes, yeah. and you have to smoke this, like, fuck, I've smoked it, so it, much it, of dude, it. Dude, that stuff sucks. It I fucking hate it. It is terrible. And it smells like shit, and your fingers get all stained, and like, we would have to smoke cigarettes, and I'm dying up here a lot. Or, or weed, if we were smoking a joint in the car. Yeah. And, um, because everyone in fucking 1978 smoked. So you're either smoking yeah. a cigarette or you're smoking weed. And we would sit and we'd smoke and, and you know, these takes that last forever and people know what Hollywood's like now. And it's, you know, two hours of doing one bullshit scene. Yeah. By the end of it, my hands are stained from that shit and yeah. you stink like those fake cigarettes. Dude, I mean, as a typecasted and a stoner, yeah. <laughs> like every role I do, you know I'm smoking You're smoking weed. that shit. And f to the dome, it's bongs, it's joints, it's blunts. It's like, oh man, it fucks you up. Yeah. It fucks you now, up. Now, do you think you can sneak in r uh, real weed on set? I mean, they... I They don't... They, it's technically illegal, but now that it's legal in California, I think the union might pass it to make it legal. I mean, I bet if I was like, I gotta do it, it people would be like, that's actually kind of cool. That's pretty sick. That's yeah. Daniel Day-Lewis, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Let him but, get lit. But honestly, I've like never... Only like two times on Workaholics actually smoked weed, but like never have like filmed high. You've never been on, you've never been on camera stoned. Yeah, that's interesting. Have yeah. you ever been buzzed on camera? A uh, little bit, but not not to. I mean, other than like interviews. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, like no filming, filming, <laughs> filming. No, not really. I've been smashed up on on film. Really? How oh, was yeah. it? Tight. Well, also, like I had to do a scene where I actually planned this kind of appropriately. As weird as this may sound, me now magical. When we did, I'm dying up here. We had to go do a scene. Where he drops me off in my house and and we come home drunk. We're supposed mm -hmm. to be coming home drunk at like three in the morning. Yeah. And I'm pissing outside of my house because I can't like get in for some reason. Maybe I can't find my keys. I don't remember. And I piss on my dad's dead dog's grave in the back Damn. of our house. And he comes out <laughs> and fucking lits, lights me up for it. Yeah. So Al and I were like, we should go get a couple of drinks mm -hmm. because we had six hours before we shot. And then I thought, I know me. I'm a big drinker. Yeah. I thought... <laughs> if I just slowly drink throughout the night, I'm just going to get exhausted. So what I was like, you know what I'll do? 
I'll just pound as much as I can now and then sit. Shotgun a couple beers. <laughs> Dude, I no, I was just slamming whiskey and then I sat for the next like three, four hours because I know like the hangover, the, like the mid-drink hangover where you're yeah. not drinking enough anymore. Yeah. yeah. Your body's all out of it and lethargic and you're kind of loopy and weird and honestly, transit. And I had to cry on camera and I fucking did it. Damn. Yeah, and it helped a little. It definitely helped. It definitely helped. I don't know, like... But I've never been stoned on camera. <laughs> no, that would... I would get so paranoid. Yeah, stoned on camera, I can't do it. Yeah, I would I would just be, like, second-guessing everything. Everything you'd say, you'd be, like, <laughs> looking for other people to approve. <laughs> cool? Is it cool? Are those things on? <laughs> uh, the one thing that I have done stoned is, like, voiceover auditions. Sure. And that actually worked out pretty damn well. Do you put on headphones when you do them? I do now. Yeah. Yeah. That way you can hear how, how you actually sound. Because I used to do them just raw into the phone. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I have no idea what that fucking sounds like. No clue. No, it's all blown out. Yeah. Like they get the <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Thank you. You're like, all right, that guy's definitely not getting hired. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> he was stoned. <laughs> are you still Are you still a heavy smoker now? Uh, I want to say heavy. Daily? No. no, no, no. No, not, no. no. Were you ever daily? Uh, yeah, when I was living, like, with the dudes. Yeah, with the boys. Yeah, you you'd hit the pipe, you know. Oh, whatever, hit the pipe, dude. Yeah, like, fuck it, why not? The, the highest I'd been in a long time, by the way, speaking of our buddy Adam, was leaving his house with Adam Ray. I was picking up Adam Ray to go down to, this is a, true, this is a terribly true story, <laughs> to go down to watch an Angels game. It was me, yes. Ray, and um, and Brad Williams. And Adam was like, I had gotten in the, uh, we had picked up, Adam Ray from Adam's house and we got in the car and he was saying goodbye and he handed him like a tincture bottle. Yeah. But I had misheard what he had said and I took a whole dropper. Oh, yeah. Instead of taking just a couple no. of drops. I took a whole fucking eyedropper <laughs> of that shit. <laughs> to the dome. Brother. And I was feeling amazing halfway to Orange County. Then when yeah. we got there, I was like... <laughs> Shivering. I was like in a wind tunnel of stuff. I was so high, I was shaking. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, Adam was like, oh, man, the baseball game doesn't start for a while. <laughs> So, oh, good. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, well, what are we going to do, man? I was kind of tripping, but I was trying to cover it up. Like, I'm totally cool, but like, what would we do in the meantime? And I'm not kidding. Ray goes, let's go see a movie. And I was like, what? Like, you want to see Brokeback Mountain? <laughs> brother, we went to go see the fucking Tom Hanks plane mo fucking oh. movie where he lands in the Hudson. Uh, yeah. Sully. Sully. We went to go see the plane crash movie and I couldn't speak English. Brother, I couldn't even get my ticket. I was so fucking high at the machine and I had had Adam Ray buy my ticket because I was baked out of my mind. I went inside. I sat down. As the movie started, I'm vibrating. You yeah. know when you're like, you're fucking yeah. vibrating? Yes. As soon as I remembered what movie we were seeing, I was like, oh, we're going to see a plane crash movie and I fly yeah. for a living. I'm on planes for a living. Yeah. I immediately pretended to get a phone call. <laughs> Immediately yeah. walked outside like, and I sat on a bench. <laughs> <laughs> I just, yeah. <laughs> yin, 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 yin. You're like, what? Are you all right? <laughs> Boys, I got to dip out. That's my lady. Like, that was weird. <laughs> I took a fake call and I sat outside in the hallway and I ate Reese's Pieces of popcorn. Hey. And by myself, because I was, and I told, afterwards I admitted it. I was like, Boys, not a call. Yeah. I, could, I was so fucking baked, I couldn't be in there. Yeah, and they were all super supportive. Like, it's okay, man. It's fine. It was a great movie. <laughs> yeah, you really missed a good one. <laughs> I know. But then at that point, I was zoned enough where the baseball game was actually fun instead of like another thing to have to conquer. Oh, yeah. And it's outdoors. That that always helps my... If I'm too high, outside always kind of clears me out a little bit. You know? If I'm too the, stoned, you step into the sun, you're like, right on. That's the case with a lot we're of okay. drug use. Step yeah. outside. Just take it outside. Take it outside, man. Not to the freeway. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just no. outside. Like take it outside. Like, yeah. Be on the first floor and yeah. take it outside. Yeah, yeah, man. Don't be like, uh, don't jump off a thing or don't cut no. off your dick like uh, the kid from Wu-Tang. <laughs> yeah. Or... That dude, did he cut his dick all the way off? What, who did that? Was it like Capadonna? I would, uh, somebody cut their dick off. Somebody from the Wu-Tang clan cut, uh, well, they tried to cut their dick off. Right. I, and ugh. then some dude stabbed his own eye out, like Mario. No. That wasn't Wu Tang affiliated, though. Wu Tang. But I, I remember a dude stabbed his own eye out as well. Wait, really? Yeah. I think it's, uh, on 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 what though? I must have been like PCP or fucking. Wu Tang affiliated rapper cut off his own penis and jumped off a second floor balcony. Then he jumped off. So he cut his <laughs> cock off. Then he jumped. Well, yeah. He's now a married man. <laughs> You're not going to jump off land, fucking break your legs, pull the knife out, <laughs> cut your dick off? That's just not the PEMDAWs of cutting your his dick off. His name is Christ Bearer. He speaks out about Christ cutting Bearer. off his own penis. Christ Bearer. <laughs> Christ Bearer, man. <laughs> That's a deep cut. I'm like pretty well versed with Wu-Tang. I'm having trouble summoning that name. It says, it says, it says Wu-Tang. Wu Syndicate? <laughs> it says affiliated rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
he's kind of uh, fringe. That's fringe Wu Tang Connect. Yeah, he's not one of like the thirteen members. No, thank you. He's no not. Chance. He's one of the thirty six chambers. <laughs> he might not even be a chamber. He might yeah. be a nook. He might be one yeah, of nooks. He's a cranny. He's a cranny or a nook. <laughs> he's R- a cranny. Christ. Yeah. Christ. Uh, Christ bearer. Shout out to Christ bearer. And yeah, I'm man. Glad. And now it says he's a married man. He's hap- He's happily married and living a good life. Does he have kids? No, unfortunately. He doesn't have a dick. Yeah, he doesn't have a dick to make the kids. doesn't have a dick. <laughs> but <laughs> I've never been so high that I wanted to cut off my own penis. Uh, uh, I've been so high that I feel like I'm going to lose my penis on its own. Okay. I've been high enough on mushrooms where I feel like my dick is like uh, p- go- protruding <laughs> into my body. I think the highs I've been in is that, like I envisioned having like the ability to like shoot it like a harpoon gun. But that's you, about- Like if you push hard enough, it would <laughs> yeah, come out? like come and you could like hook something and reel it back in. <laughs> That'd Use be... your balls to reel it back in. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, that'd be tight. Evolution is so slow. We'll you never be whip, alive. If you could whip that. a cum and catch something and snap it back to you. <laughs> oh, that'd be kind of cool. Like a like Spider Man like action. Yeah, like a fly reel almost. That'd like be like cool. you're fly fishing. Yeah, that'd be cool. What would your superpower be? If you if you could you know, everyone goes, mm. it's either fly or invisible or run no, no, no. What's the one? Uh, what's the Blake? I, what's the I don't know. I always thought it I mean, I know it comes with like a lot of weird stuff, but it would be kind of cool to be immortal. You want to live forever? Yeah, dude. You're wild, brother. <laughs> I like this ride, bro. This has been good. Yeah, You're man. You're right. You're I, right. I like it. It's fucking weird. It just gets weirder. You know what I want? So I want something similar. I'll <laughs> piggyback you. I want reincarnation, okay. but I want to be conscious of the comeback. Okay. So I want to be con- so I want to die as one of the forms, but I want to know what it feels like when I come back. And, That's better. And I'll know all the lives I lived. That's better. Yeah. That's a better version. Yeah, I just amped it up. Like, cause mine, you like, there's so many questions. Like, am I still like aging? Aging? Am I like this one thousand year old like mummy? That's okay. Let's kinda... say you had to stick at one age. What age would you stick at? Ooh, damn. If you're immortal, but it's like that, you have to pick. Bro, twenty two. Twenty two, <laughs> dog. Yeah, I was at say... the yard house. <laughs> <laughs> I was on fire, dude. Hell yeah, fill it up. <laughs> Fucking, I'll take two yards tonight. Two yards? I got pictures of Fucking it. Fucking double down. <laughs> that 22, that 22 birthday is fun. <laughs> now, isn't that funny now to think like we're in our late 30s? How, you're my age. We're the same age. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. And it's funny to think now, like we did, we shot an episode of Dave and we had, the only restaurant in Palmdale was a yard house. Legit. We, we go there to eat dinner because we're like, there's nothing else around. And I said, I'll just take a... um Space dust. Uh, and she's like, uh, 16, 24, or yard. Yeah. And I was like, 16 is totally fine. Yeah. But you think, at one point, I used to be like, fucking have to go yard. All yards. You must go yard. Bro, we're playing football. <laughs> I'm trying to get a first down. A first down, dog. Dude, you don't think that was a challenge? Yeah. We would do Monday nights. You try to get a first down. <laughs> 10 yards is bananas. It's impossible. It's impossible, but good luck. Yeah, you're going to try. Yeah, we used to have like a Del Taco in college. I went to Arizona State. We used to have we used to have taco offs where legitimately, because they were dollar tacos, mm-hmm. and we, we saw who could eat the most, and this kid in our dorm could eat like 26, I think it was That's the record. Insane. But he could do it. He cleared house, man. Yeah. I ate 12, and I'd get ready to throw up. We used to do this thing called the Chili Cheese Challenge at, at Wienersnitchel, because they had this like $5 for like five items deal. Mm-hmm. So you'd have to try to Is that to why do... they're doing so well? <laughs> <laughs> so you'd have to do, do like five of those. It, it's just, you just throw up. <laughs> yeah. But also, you could handle it back then. Also, if you did you, it now, you, you'd be over. Oh, uh, like, I couldn't even get through the damn fries. Yeah, no. Without no. getting some form of diarrhea. There's a dude on TikTok who I've seen, or no, in, maybe it's Instagram. He's one of these guys who's like, probably you're our size, mm-hmm. right? And he can eat... Like 14,000 fucking calories in a sitting. He's like a competitive eater, dude. But I've yeah. watched this guy and I still don't understand because he do, he never seems to run out. Yeah. Like it's I, creepy. I don't get that shit. Like there, yeah, there was that dude, his name was like Shoe Nice or something and he would like oh, eat Shoe Kulk, nice. Kulk and shit. And have Shoe Nice. Yeah, and he, he would just take this and just chug it. it. Can I have some more? Yeah, 100%. Are you kidding me? Please. Thank you. Pour it up. No, Sick. yeah, he used to do... um. Like, sh- like, drink whole bottles of vodka. You were to the face, and then sit there, and then do a video, follow up video. Yeah, and eat coke, and fucking eat. Is he alive? I, I, if he's alive, he's canceled. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean the dude is. Come on. Yeah, it's got to be that guy's got. There was no way out of that. He, this dude is a. I saw a mini doc about him. He was living in a motel somewhere in like upstate, and um. He was still doing like videos and competitions and all that stuff on like how much he could hold in his stomach. I think what we're miscommunicating is the first time I saw him, it wasn't booze. He was seeing how much like miscellaneous things he could consume where he'd be like, I'll, I I can drink 
you know, a quart of glue and I could yeah. eat, he would just eat and be able to consume insane stuff and then not affect him at all. Just eat a bunch of grapes. That's impressive. That's impressive too, like, man. Eat 100,000 grapes. Eat edible things. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. more impressive <laughs> yeah. than eating I'm bricks. Still, I'm still stoked on you. <laughs> you don't have to eat like four pairs of shoes. No. Fuck that. No, no, no. Even though like the hot dog eating competition, like Kobayashi on, and uh, that shit is gnarly yeah it makes me sick because uh makes me sick how makes they're me, just not even enjoying the sons of bitches you know how many put, people need those hot dogs <laughs> no mustard no Nothing. relish <laughs> no onions <laughs> it makes me nauseous to watch people eat hot dogs like terrible. they dip the I buns in dogs. water yeah but that ruins it for me that's why i can't I know. watch it i don't watch it anymore they soak the buns in water and that just grosses me out it's so disgusting much. soggy buns fucking disgusting <laughs> speaking of fucking soggy buns uh, uh real hate right now to the la dodgers the last fucking mm. game i went to these guys there was probably the worst food i've ever had there and that stadium used to be clutch dodger dogs used to be on point that thing has fallen apart now when i go <sighs> it's whack it's the wackest food their dogs are whack they're whack now dude what happened magic I just think, johnson <laughs> magic johnson dude <laughs> They're he whack. doesn't care about hot dogs. What's your deal, Em? Magic Johnson doesn't care about hot dogs. That's your Kanye moment? <laughs> yeah. Magic Johnson doesn't care about hot dogs. <laughs> and, then, and Mike Myers actually being like, He's like dude, <laughs> chill out. Stop. Yes, Stop. he does. It's Dodger dog. Man. Chill. Some would say he cared a lot about hot dogs, and that's how he got HIV. <laughs> we'll be right back after this message. No, but it, they were. It was whack. Also, yeah, that sucks. And that, that's what you guys get. You lose to San Diego because you can't provide good Dodger dogs. That could be. I mean, that could be something. San Diego also showed up. I don't know if you're a big baseball guy, but San Diego showed up in a real way. That was insane. That I don't know. Like, I feel so bad for. I don't have Dodger hate because I'm an A's fan. I'm sure. not a Giants fan. Like. It's just so like Dodger hate does not come my way. Giants hate is though. That's real. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Those guys suck. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the Giants. I've I've softened since I've been out of the Bay Area. I've for gotten so worse. Long. You have? Well, I'm an NL guy, so I yeah, fucking yeah. loathe yeah other NL teams and particularly the Giants. It really is crazy, like how much just like AL NL. Like I just I don't carry a lot of malice for any NL team. It's funny. I just I just. I something about San Francisco. San Francisco on many levels bothers the fucking out of me. I don't know what it is. They're I mean, just, if you, in, they're so the like people, the stadium, the they're, city. They're, the, no, I've I'm never kidding. been to uh, Levi. I've never Seriously? stepped foot. I've refused. God bless. Now nah, I will now. <laughs> <laughs> now you don't have a choice. But I mean, I was an A season ticket holder, so I was like, I was an Oakland diehard. Like, f- hated the Giants. One of the best. One of the best iconic symbols of a baseball team was that elephant that was such a cool stomper stomp dog <laughs> that was such a dope idea because it's a swing oh, yeah. and a miss for a lot of times a lot of times they throw in a random if they're if the team doesn't have an animal sometimes they'll throw in an animal and you're like dude that's trash but that one worked dude whoever like i don't know i know the history of these but whoever that guy was who was like yo we're gonna be zany and we're yellow and green and we're gonna grow our mustaches out big and have an elephant and it all fucking worked it all worked and it's still going like still if you're on the a's you're growing your hair out. You're not shaving. It's you're part like, of the vibe. Yeah, you just you look like a stoner. Yeah, like the vibe is so sick. You know. No, it is really. Have you ever seen the Battered Bastards of Baseball? It's a documentary no. on Netflix. You must watch. I highly recommend recommend all the fans to watch too. One of my favorite documentary series ever about a ragtag team of ball players um, in Portland in one of the farm leagues before there even was traditional farm leagues of this kind, uh, and it was. Um, uh, Bing Russell, Kurt Russell's father, was a wow, part of the what a god, dude. This guy, he started this squad, but the documentary he started Kurt Russell. He started Kurt Russell. <laughs> Kurt Russell was going to be a pro baseball player, really. And then realized he could make real money in acting. I fucking love Kurt. His Russell. dad was a, his dad was what you know, like what they call a plumber actor. You know, like a day by day, which was like he never not worked, but he never made good money. Oh. back, he was back in the days of like studio contracts, where a studio would just buy your ass. They'd yeah. be like, <laughs> they'd be like, hey man, that's a big chunk of money, but also yeah. you're with us literally 300 days out of the year. Yeah. And his dad had retired and made okay money on television. Probably hot as fuck. He's a mega babe. Yeah. He's a mega babe. I mean, he's no Kurt. But <laughs> Bing was Bing was also... Bing was daddy, too. You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? Dude. <laughs> and he bought this team. And you got to watch the... the or he made this team, so to speak. You should watch that doc. But it's... That idea was very... Um, Pacific Northern culture of like, yeah, and that's kind of what the Oakland A's embodied. Even though they're Bay Area squad, they have kind of a PNW feel where you're like, chill, 
Dude, it's like all like Northwest. It's yeah, just it's like, all like that. It, once you hit LA, it's like it's not that anymore. Uh-uh. But then, like, it just carries all. Once you the get way past up. Bakersfield, it's you're in trees. good shape. It's yeah, trees. trees. Yeah, trees. It changes it. a man. I know. It makes you just kind of be like, yeah, man, let it grow. Everything, <laughs> just let it grow. It's true. That's it. I was just in Oregon, and I, I just Oregon's one of those spots where I forget how beautiful it is, and how close it is. Dude, it's dope. Coastal Oregon was fucking phenomenal. Yeah, and also that is the vibe. The mm-hmm. vibe was very much like, chill out, man. Yeah. E- everything's cool. Dude, yeah. Let's, was like, we're going to be late. And the guy was like, you're not going to be late, man. <laughs> Trust me, it's cool. Time, they'll time they'll is hold different. the Blazers game. <laughs> <laughs> For real? For you guys? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Without man. a doubt. You're going to be courtside. It's going to be sick. You're going to get a picture with Dame. <laughs> and if we get there, we're like, we're not, we're not courtside at all. And the guy's like, what are you going to do? Hey, try a hot dog. They're veggie and they're good. <laughs> they're good, dude. <laughs> they're bomb. I've actually tried. Somebody gave me the other night. At Crafty had a, uh, they had fake steak. Like I've had, I've had fake chicken, chicken. Yeah, chicken. <laughs> but I've never had fake steak, and it was. Is it fake steak? It was fake steak. Uh-huh. It was, and it was unbelievably bad. Oh yeah. Yeah, dude, I'm cool with trying some of these alternative sure. meats, but also this, the, you got to be on point. Yeah, sometimes when they miss, they fucking Ooh, miss by a mile. Yeah, it's, it'll... <laughs> it was. I was like, this is unbelievably it bad. It does the opposite effect. It. Get put you in a rage and you go and kill more animals. <laughs> <laughs> you go, motherfucker! I am gonna just go shoot a cow in the head. Where's the cows? <laughs> Anything? <laughs> Where's the cows now? Yeah, show I need me. To see one. I need to sacrifice. I'm going to slit a cow's throat for this. I have to sacrifice a cow. No, yeah, I I've tried a few times. I even tried like I went vegetarian, which yeah. is fine. That was easy. Yeah. Vegan's literally impossible. I don't. People that do it, you're out of your fucking head. I cannot. I don't even know how to wrap my head around not having real cheese ever again. Yeah, that's bizarre. Bunkers. Yeah. And also, I'm a child. I still eat cereal. Everyone's like, you still eat. I've tried to do almond milk, uh, but yeah. uh, I do it's, like uh, the moo moo uh, moo moo milk, man. Yeah. Do you drink it like thick, like full strength, or are you like two? Oh, bro, or? fucking curdled, unpastured, <laughs> right from the fucking titty. Well, no, that's I like. I'll, I'll do. I'll do. Uh, I'll do two percent. Yeah. I'll do 2%. Anything above that's kind of, you're a crazy person. Or Whole milk is absurd. Yeah. What are, what the fuck are you doing? You're drinking ice cream. You're like point. trying to be like a sumo wrestler or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. or you're gaining weight for some weird ass role. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, you're doing the Brendan Fraser, right? The yeah. whale. You're trying to become the second whale. Dude, is that what it's about? I don't know. Being fat? I'm not going to say. <laughs> Go check it out. I will. Is in it out? theaters? I think it is. Is it? It's Honestly, in theaters? I don't know calendars. Not Paramount Plus? Is it Paramount Plus? It should be. That's Shouldn't. where all the hot shit is at. <laughs> you say that, but honestly, they got some bangers over there. I think. I got to tap in with Paramount Plus. I'm kind of a Hulu guy. <laughs> Me too. I, I, I am too because I like live. I watch the live shit. Mm-hmm. And I like sports. Hulu has live sports. Dude, I got laced with the NBA League Pass like What's last up, dude? Christmas. Pass me the fucking code. <sighs> it's so sick, dude. I want it's that. Worth its weight in gold. It's expensive as fuck, is it not? I believe so. The yeah. NBA gave me like a box and basically it was What did a, you do? I don't know. I just like always am kind of repping for the Warriors a little bit. So they were down. So they just like I'm on some seating list. Look at you, you son of a bitch. Yeah, dude, but it's dope because you get to watch like you get to watch the Jumbotron basically when you know cuz they don't cut to commercials. Right. So it just goes to like whatever they're playing on the Jumbotron. Or like doing half court, so you see the weirdest like most you see, you regional see like the, the, the guys on bikes trying to make shots yes. and doing all that shit. But then yeah. you see halftime shows, and like since it was like game one, you know, first week at NBA, Project Pat performed at Memphis. What the Ying Yang Twins were at Sacramento. Like I'm just flipping to halftimes. Like the performances were sick. That's dude. so dope. I had no. I mean, you forget that that is what they do. They usually show up for week one because week yeah. one's huge. What do we do here in LA? Who the fuck knows? It's tonight. The Clippers are playing the Lakers. That is tonight? Yes. What it's are we, currently why happening. Why are we here? Well, because it's probably going to be a blowout. It's going to be a blowout. <laughs> I feel I, like, again, I have no Lakers hate, but. I got a little bit of Lakers hate. I, I mean, I got. I, I have a little bit of Lakers I hate. I have a little more Clippers hate, to be honest. Really? That's funny, because when I first moved here in 06, the Clippers were so fucking mediocre. We yeah. used to buy tickets for like $13. Yeah. That's when they were dope. Yeah, I used to love that. But then they started beefing with the Warriors, and I had to, I kind of had to separate myself. Mm-hmm. And Adam started to take on, that dude, Clippers side. You guys won side. that war. You know what I mean? Oh, it was, like not even a war. You didn't nah, really fight much. It's over. It was your little brother that wanted to come play with you guys. They put up a fight at the beginning. Okay, but also no. You the know Warriors I mean? buried that franchise for a 
little bit. Dude, and your boy, yeah, your boy Adam has courtside tickets. Or no, he doesn't have them anymore, right? I think this is the first season where he has bowed out because he's just, he never goes. He's so busy. A busy boy. And he doesn't live anywhere near that fucking stadium anymore. No. So that's kind of hard. It's like, unless, that's the tough thing about LA games. Unless you live uh, easy access, I'm not going. Well, the thing is, is like, that's why I, I love the Dodgers. He should have quit this shit like there. a few seasons ago because the Clippers were like, they didn't have really anything to come see. But this season, they could be dope. Maybe. It could be. Yeah. They got weapons. Not going to be you guys. I feel good about the Warriors. Those Bay Area boys are on fucking, are on fire. I, they, they've done so much now that I'm, now I'm kind of throwing my hat in the Sacramento ring. What about the punch? You got anything to say about the punch? Uh, yeah, I was pissed at Draymond. I, I, now if he gets traded, I'm like, we've put up, with, I've made excuses for that man so much in my life. Yeah. I've, I've stood by the him. The punch is the line for you. Don't hit Jordan Poole, Jordan dude. Hit Jordan. For people that don't know, Draymond uh, 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 allegedly, speaking as an attorney, uh, struck uh, Poole. Uh, no, there's a, video. In a, in you can watch video. He hit him. It was real. You can see it. Yeah. He swung out his shoes. Like he, tried smoked, to, he smoked him. He tried to kill that dude. But Poole took the shot. Yeah. And he's playing the next day. Let me play devil's advocate. Mm-hmm. What did Poole say? I don't know. But no one is like, no one has taken that side. I feel like somebody would have been like, yo, he actually said some fucked up shit. Right. <laughs> like you just, I'm some things this, you don't I'm, say. I'm going to take that side right now. <laughs> yeah. All right. You got it. Draymond, I'm on your squad. You swing away, Papa. What do what you got to do. Say? <laughs> what did, what he, did he say? What did he say? In the locker, they're all tying their shoes. Like, what did he say? <laughs> what did he say, you dude? What he fucking said? <laughs> I don't think he said anything. Well, you know, we're never going to find out. Nah. That's the wild shit is that'll stay where it belongs, which I actually think is good. Yeah. Because you can't have that kind of snitching in sports. So just let it just live and die on its own. Let them handle it internally. Sports, you can't have snitching anywhere, man. Stop snitching. Snitches get stitches, my dude. It's, it's always been that That's way. That's how it always starts and ends. Yeah. Um, I want to ask you something. Yes. And we can cut it out <laughs> if you don't want to talk about it. But at one point, you were developing a Tales from the Crypt. Uh, it wasn't Tales from the Crypt. It was like a, it was a, a, like a, like a horror like a, anthology, like right, an right, original right. one. Yeah. But it, but it was kind of like in that vein is what I should say. Yeah, That's what totally. I meant to say. Yes. Yeah. And I was kind of like playing the role of like the Crypt Keeper. The Crypt Keeper. And what the fuck happened? Well, me and Dermer, we went out and shopped it at like FX and Netflix and everywhere. And like literally every place we went were they were like, like anthologies, like horror anthologies. It's just, I don't. We don't see it like you have to invest in a new person every week. Like American Horror Story has been doing it for like fucking literally years. every single thing in development now is a horror anthology. anthology yeah, crazy. Cut off of Black ahead. Mirror. Yeah. Black Mirror. You guys was were the, ahead of the curve, dude. Fuck. It was upsetting. When he told me about that, I really wanted to see that you as the crib keeper in that vein of yeah of Tales from the Crypt because I that I was obsessed with that show when dude, I was a kid. I had the pinball machine. Fuck off. Yeah, man. That's insane. The Tales from the Crypt Pinball. That Wait, was like, when you were an adult, as an adult. Oh, after workaholics. I was just going to say. Yeah, yeah. They're they're expensive. You're not nine being like, look what I bought, Dad. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's yeah, so that cool. Wolverine sold for a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dad, yeah, that's right. That's no, spot that, number one. That was probably like the one thing that I like splurged on in my life was like I bought a pinball machine. And that even that's not insane. It's not insane, but it is it's a, a flex. It's a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. Pinball it, machine is a lot of money. Yeah. It, Dude, it, it's and it's a good purchase. You still got it? Uh, I sold it. Come on, Blake. Dude, it's it it was so old and like I gotta get a new one. I want to get like the Metallica one. That's cool. <laughs> it's like a newer machine. It, it plays all their songs like like good shit, like Master of Puppets shit. Like. See, that's what's cool. That, that and the speakers now were on them are so cool. When we were kids, they didn't have yeah. all that tech. Yeah. Now it's gotten real dope. Yeah, and you can get different like I don't know if they call it cabinets or but like the header. You can get like the one with like Cliff instead or like you can kind of like pick. You which, can customize it. You can get like there's three different Metallicas you can choose from. Whoa. Yeah. That's cool. Old school Metallica. Come on. You know who I'm picking up there. Who? Who you know? Who? James. Dude. Yeah. You got Come to. On. What are you talking He's about? He's Come on, dude. Yes. I met and him. Had lunch with him. Trail. What? Yeah. You had lunch with him. Go on. With James Hetfield. Yeah. Where his... were you guys at? Where'd you eat? Um, it was Burger Ninety Nine or something or. Yeah, there's it, a place called Burger. 99. It was on Fairfax, but his son Casper. Um, I think was a big workaholics fan, also like into like Odd Future and all that, and yep. like I was kind of like looped in with them and like making Teenage my like clothing brand, and he wanted to like chat me up about like starting a clothing brand, 
So, but he was just a youngster. Like, I think he was only like 14 or something. So it was like, do you want to have lunch with James Hetfield and his son? And I'm like, you better believe it. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so we just like went you and You show had... up with a guitar and an amp. You're like, are we not ripping? We're not going to shred? Yeah, okay. dude. So I was like, of course. So we just like had, went to some place that had like burgers and like fried chicken sandwiches and just chopped it up with the Hetfields, man. Damn, was he cool? Oh yeah, he was super cool. Super nice dude. That's so then, wild. Like, yeah, it was like the next day. That's when they like played like the national anthem at like the Sharks game and shit. So we like <laughs> talked about the Sharks and stuff because he's a Bay Area dude. Oh, he is. Yeah, San Jose. Yeah, yeah. That's so. Uh, that kind of stuff is if you you know sometimes moments like that happen to me where even in the moment I don't realize it until far after. Where I was like, if I was a kid and I told myself I'd be eating lunch, dude, with him, I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? Who is your? What is your life? It's insane. Like, the opportunities that show up are just, like, it's bizarre. I've been very blessed. Yeah, blessed <laughs> is, the, is the word. Hashtag Did, blessed. Hashtag blessed. And you deserve it, though. Thank you, man. You're a talented, good dude, man. And I want to thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. Um, I appreciate you so very much. Mm-hmm. Uh, please go see anything that this uh, lovely prince is doing. Um, you have a, Is there anything that's coming out immediately other than the movie that you want to plug? Uh, well, me and the dudes do our podcast, This Is Important, every week. Watch This week. Is Important. I know we plugged that on the show from the other boys, so watch that. Yeah. You guys that... haven't missed a week. You guys are still you're running along at hot right now, Dude, huh? it's fun. This it's cool. like just a way to always be talking to my bros. 100%. It's fucking cool. Do you zoom it? You guys zoom it? We zoom it. That's why this is cool. Well, you guys don't live anywhere near each other, right? No, no. We're so, we're so spread out. I don't know if we'll ever- Because Durs is with him. Elon, right? He's in space? Yeah, he's on a space station. He is sure. 100%. Yeah. Floating in the yeah. ISS. He's getting like, yeah, he's being installed right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, go listen to This Is Important yeah. or uh, enjoy it wherever you enjoy mm-hmm. your podcasts. Yeah. And uh, we end the show the same way you say one word or one phrase into that camera to end the episode. Uh, it's going to take us out in history. At one point, the Smithsonian will ask me, can I have all of the one word or one phrases from your show? And I'll say maybe, mm. uh, but this one will be the way you end your episode. So when you're ready, one word or one phrase, whatever you're comfortable with in that camera. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. It's five o'clock somewhere. In here, we pour whisk, 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 whisk. You were that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers.